Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be on the blender. So the normal blender looks like this. That is it. Uh, here is a slow-mo. Today I'm going to be doing the bonus blender. Uh, it's going to be a special feature, director's cut, extended edition, uh, unrated version. And here is what it looks like. So that's the bonus blender. So here's a slow-mo of that. Anyways, so you might be wondering why are we doing the bonus blender? So the blender itself is all it is is it's moves we've already learned just combo together. The bonus blender is more moves that we've already learned all combo together. So this video is going to be I'm not even going to teach you how to do the blender. I'm going to say I'm going to give you a big laundry list of tricks to learn, and I'm going to come here and I'm going to show you how to put them together. It's basically what's going to happen. So before we do this tutorial, you need to know one the backhand twirl, two the zen rollover. Three, the, how does it go? So backhand twirl, zen rollover, underhanded fan, then index rollover, then the chaplain, then the behind the eight ball. So you need to know all those tricks. If any of those tricks you're like, what the heck, what's that? Go in the description, learn those tricks, and then come back. So now that we're here and everybody knows all of those tricks, we're going to begin. So... What you're going to do is you're just going to take the safe handle, of course, to start the bonus blender, and you are going to do a backhand twirl. Except, what you're going to do, so basically you take the safe handle, you fling out the bite handle, you insert your index finger, the, the blade comes back at your finger, you take your thumb and you put it behind the um, safe handle, and you're going to do, instead of doing the backhand twirl, you're going to do a zen rollover. So this first combo is really nice because it's an excellent way to get from, like if you're twirling, you can get from twirling into doing rollovers, basically. So that's the first combo. So it's the backhand twirl into the zen rollover. The second combo is the zen rollover, and instead of doing a wrist pass and the catch, you do the Zen rollover into the underhanded fan. So the underhanded fan looks like this. Um, and it is, in my opinion, it's the coolest fan. Uh, I think it looks it looks really neat and it's an excellent way to set up. It kind of buys time, looks cool, and it makes your index rollovers a lot easier. So anyways, so you do the backhand twirl into the Zen rollover. And then you do the Zen rollover into the underhanded fan. From the underhanded fan, once you get to here, you're going to do the underhanded fan into the index rollover, which, like I said, is, in my opinion, the best way to set up an index rollover. It's way smoother than if you just start like this. It's way smoother than a lot of things. So uh, one thing I like to do, right, is if you just do any rollover and do the underhanded twirl into a index rollover. So the point is, right, so you do the backhand twirl, you do the zen rollover, you do the underhanded fan, and then you do an index rollover. So the index rollover happens, and then instead of catching it like a normal index rollover, like you would, you are going to instead go into a thumb chaplain. So you do the index rollover, and 
instead of catching on the underside of the handle, you're gonna catch all the way through the handle, right? So you do the index rollover, it spins around your index finger, and you're gonna insert your thumb behind the safe handle. And what's gonna happen is, right, the knife's gonna hit, and you can get into a thumb chaplain, right? So this is one of the best ways, it's one of, basically, it's a cool way to get into a thumb chaplain, right? And it's one of the ways you can get into like a, a thumbs up thumb chaplain. Like a lot of the times when you do a thumb chaplain, it's an open hand one, right? Like if you do like behind the eight ball, it's an open hand thumb chaplain. If you do it this way, you can get into like a, a thumbs up thumb chaplain, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, so you do the index rollover into the thumb chaplain. And then of course, from the thumb chaplain, you go into the ending of behind the eight ball, right? So you catch the safe handle in this position here, which you'll see if you've seen the behind the eight ball tutorial. You turn your palm down and you do a Zen rollover. So the behind the eight ball ending is like an excellent way to finish off any combo. It's the classic, right? There's so many ways. Anytime you can catch it like this. So a lot, a lot of times after thumb chaplains or whatever, you can finish it off with behind the eight ball. So once more to recap this entire move all over again. Um, so you do the backhand twirl into the Zen rollover into the underhanded fan into an index rollover, into the thumb chaplain, into the catch here, into the zen rollover, right? This is the behind the eight ball ending, basically. So you do finish it off with the behind the eight ball. So that's it. So if you're having trouble, you're like, what the heck's going on here? You probably didn't watch my other tutorials. So watch them, learn it, and then you go backhand twirl, zen rollover, underhanded fan, index rollover, into thumb chaplain into behind the eight ball ending so yeah that's it thanks for watching i know you guys have been wanting combo videos so here it is uh peace